have a few choice verses this morning from the Chaitanya Charitamrita and the Brihat Bhagavatamrita about the importance and potency of chanting Hare Krishna. If all else fails, and it will, chant Hare Krishna. If it seems as if the world's going sideways, it is. But the only way to, to cope with it or to right any situation is ultimately to rise above the three modes of material nature. And the only surefire way of doing that is by chanting Hare Krishna. The ultimate message of the Bhagavad Gita is that one must perform yagya in order to be well situated in this world and to go back home, back to Godhead. And the only yagya prescribed in the age of Kali Yuga is the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So everyone who's joined the Japa circle is well situated in proper yagya, lined with, backed by the Shastra. And for those who struggle with their own natures, anyone? Here's a verse for you. I think you'll be encouraged by this. Simply, this is Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Antya 20.11 in the chapter entitled the Shikshashtakam. And uh, this is a single verse with no purport. Simply by chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna, one can be freed from all undesirable habits. This is the means of awakening all good fortune and initiating the flow of waves of love for Krishna. There's a lot in that verse, so I'm just going to read it one more time before we start chanting. Simply by chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna, one can be freed from all undesirable habits. Can I get a jai? This, a little louder. That was medium. Simply by chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna, one can be freed from all undesirable habits. A little above medium. This is the means of awakening all good fortune and initiating the flow of of waves of love for Krishna. From the Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya 20.11. So if we take a second to, here, come sit on that side. Set our uh, sankalpa, just to take uh, 10 seconds, 30 seconds to uh, introspect and set your sankalpa, why are you chanting? And then take a second to feel yourself completely helpless at the mercy of, of Lord Krishna. We can't even breathe without him. And then we'll begin chanting. Ready? Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Garadhara Shivasari Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Hari 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 Hari
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama 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 Rama, Rama
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Rama, Hare
हरे Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Hare
Hare Krishna. Anybody need an attitude lift? Yes, lift your attitude. One, two, three, lift. Okay, so here, <laughs> so much of our progress has to do with our attitude, and it's easy to get pushed down by the three modes of material nature. And so the way to rise above it is by chanting Hare Krishna. And I'm going to repeat the first verse that came from the Antya Lila, Chaitanya Charitamrita, written by Krishna Kaviraj Goswami. Simply by chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna, one can be freed from all undesirable habits. Simply by chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna, one can be freed from all undesirable habits. That's what everybody's talking about and, and preparing for. How can I overcome? There's millions of self-help. There's so many books, courses, psychology, majors, everything. How can I overcome undesirable habits? But of this one process, chanting Hare Krishna, is the way to rise above it. Correct? Yes. Who can prove it? With Shastra. Give me a Sanskrit. Why does it work? Because we're not blind followers. We need evidence. Yes, Prabhu. Please give him the mic. Mike, 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 Mike. Quick. Check. 
Vishaya Vini Vartanti, Nirahara Dehina, Rasa Varjam Rasha Param Drishtva Nivartate. Okay, loose translation. <laughs> Though we may be um, still attached to sense gratification, even while following um, discipline, um, by getting a higher taste, we will become fixed in consciousness. Bravo. Well done. One more? Yes? There's a verse in second canto, eight chapter, I guess. It says, Prabhishta Karna Ramdhena, Swanamo Bhava Sararuham, Dhunati Shamalam Krishna, Salilasi Atasharat. So when the name of Krishna uh, enters into our air and goes inside our heart, all the misgivings of our heart, that goes away. Just like when autumnal rains falls on the pond, all the muddy water gets cleared. Bravo. One from divinity in the divine service that proves the same point, please. Anushree's got it. Vasudeva. Vasudeva Bhagavati. Vasudeva Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojita Janayagnya Suvayagyam Gyanam Jaya Dahaitukam. Can you give a little explanation? Call a friend. Lifeline. Um, by engaging in devotional service, you automatically get knowledge and detachment. Yeah. Would that qualify to explain how you rise above bad habits? Yes. Okay. Well, we have some preliminary evidence from the Shastra why this works. And the rest of the verse says... Uh, this is the means of awakening all good fortune and initiating the flow of waves of love for Krishna. Who wants to initiate the flow of, of waves of love for Krishna? That's where you raise your hand really fast. And who wants to have the awakening of all good fortune? Pretty slow on the hands. Who wants to have the awakening of all good fortune? That's all you have to do is raise your hand fast. So, who can say something about the awakening of good fortune? Why does it, according to the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Bhakti Shastri, Bhakti Vaibhava students, what is it about chanting Hare Krishna that awakens good fortune, according to Rupa Goswami? Auspiciousness. Go ahead, Malini. Shubhada. What happens? What's the me mechanism behind it? We're not blind followers. Rupa Goswami says, uh, Shubhada, um, devotional service is all auspicious. Um, so similarly, chanting of the holy names brings that, is a beginning of that auspiciousness. Give me Sanskrit, please. To back the, why does he say Shubhada? Why is it, that, what happens? What's the mechanics? Ananda, go ahead. He can, I, he's got it. He's got a smile on his face. You could speak up. Ananda Prabhu, go ahead. Oh. Yes, Ru. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Tell us. Uh, 5, 18, 12. It says, Yes, Sesti Bhakti, Bhagavati Akinchana, Sarvair Gunai Satra Samasate Sura, Harava Bhakta Skuto Mahat Guna, Manodate Nasti Davato Bahi. So Rupa Goswami substantiates uh, by saying substantiates the quality that devotional service is all auspicious by this verse, which means that Yasyasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana. So all the qualities of the demigods come in a devotee. And then and then he says, even if a person has all the good qualities, what is the use? Because they are riding on the chariot of the mind. Yeah, so that verse 518, 12. The overture of 518.12. It proves that point. And Malini thought of the other verse just now. Aprarabda palampapam. Please say it. Aprarabda palampapam. Give Zafu. Give Zafu. 
quick. Okay. Ah, para, ah, param, falam, papam, kutam, bijam, uh, palon mukham. So by Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So by by performing devotional service, then all the sinful reactions um, are destroyed, even the one which are just sprouting, um, which were already sprouted, things then. Aparabdha palam papam kutam bijam palam mukham kramiyanaiva praliyante vishnu bhakti ratatmanam. Perfect. So these two verses, Rupa Goswami explains why we get all auspiciousness in our lives by chanting Hare Krishna. Because vishnu bhakti ratatmanam. If you worship Vishnu, Krishna, then all the karma from your previous lives is destroyed and even your prarabdha karma, the present karma that you have in this body becomes destroyed. And we just need one more verse to complete it from Rupa Goswami's Namashtakam that says that even the prarabdha karma is destroyed when you chant Hare Krishna. Go ahead. It's okay. Whether you take it from this hard drive or that one. <laughs> Yet Brahma Sakshat Kritanishchayapi. Go ahead, somebody who knows it, say it. Yet Brahma Sakshat Kritanishchayapi. Vinashamayati Vinana Bhogai. Apaiti Nama Spurani Natate. Prarabdha Karmaiti Viroti Vedaha. Bravo. Explanation, please. Yet Brahma Sakshat Kitinishtayapi. So, um, um, I can't remember. If you meditate on Brahman and you have a process of in Gyan, then you may become freed from karma after some time, but you still have to suffer or enjoy the results of your prarabdha karma. But when Krishna appears in the form of his name, then all karma is destroyed, including prarabdha karma, as proved in Aho Bhattashwa Pashato Gariyanya Jiva Grevarte Te So uh, this is, uh, there's, there are hundreds of verses, thousands, that prove this statement of Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami, which we'll read one more time. Simply by chanting the holy name of Lord Krishna, one can be freed from all undesirable habits. This is the means of awakening all good fortune and initiating the flow of waves of love for Krishna. Lord Premanande Haribo. So let's chant for a little while longer. Hari Ram 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 Ram
Hare Krishna, we have just a few minutes left, so let's take a few reflections. Just one thing that you're taking away from the Japa circle for today. Yes, Bhavani Bhakti needs a mic. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my most humble obeisances. I was thinking like when you started the Japa circle, you talked about feeling of helplessness. Uh, during today's Japa, I was really feeling helpless and I almost felt like the wooden puppet that Prabhupada talks about. And if you are a wooden puppet, what can you really do? Like, it's you are just under the control. And then I was thinking if I am a puppet, then how, what should be my prayers for Krishna? And then the mantra itself reminded me that the prayer should be to engage me in devotional service. I was reflecting on my recent situations in life and I, where I did a lot of plans, great things for myself and it didn't happen the way I wanted, but something else happened and then I was thinking it's, it's the way of Krishna doing things in my life which will help me actually to progress more in my devotional service. So I was really thankful for that and thankful for your association for chanting and all the exalted devotees here for... Haribo. Thank you very much. It reminds us of Srila Prabhupada's prayers on the Jaladutta. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. This is my first time chanting in the temple. Haribo. So, I, uh, so I've tried this at home, of course, but I do feel that here it felt like gateways opened and you have this, this energy kind of propelling you towards Krishna. So it was a very, very um, liberating experience. For me. We're so enlivened to have you here for your first time. Thank you very much for joining. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Hare Krishna. One takeaway. We just have a couple minutes left. Hansa Priya. So I think my takeaway is um, every morning it's the same routine, you know, that mind runs a million things to do list. And uh, my takeaway is that this is a very important key for me to invest in myself is uh, just one sitting chanting. So thank you so much. Thank you, Hansa Priya. Haribo. It's so easy for the mind and the Rajagun to move on and think that I'll be more efficient if I just go do my work or even if it's service, I'll finish my service. And then to put aside the chanting of the Holy Name gradually, 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 and then pretty soon there's no more anything. Uh, it's hard to do service, hard to remember why I'm doing service and so forth. So it's important to remember that always our prime duty is to have good japa. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, don't try to be a great devotee, just try to be a good devotee. However, we should try to chant good, great japa. Be a good devotee, but chant great japa. And that's why we have make japa great again. And so if we try to do that every day, even if we don't succeed, if we try to rise to the occasion and make our japa great, then everything else in our life will be good. Shri Harinam Prabhu Ki Jai, Vanchakalp Darusha, Kripa Sindhu.